What's up with the fudges? It's your neighborhood ghost ghosty and welcome to another speed paint video. So of course you guys probably be wondering like where these uh, speed paint videos are coming from if you haven't seen like my update video that I did last time. So um, to the, put a short term on it, I basically re-uploaded some of my uh, speed paint videos onto this channel because I'm getting rid of my art channel because I want to keep them all into one space the things I do and love to do so yeah they'll be on a specific day so art will be on a Monday and gaming will be on a Friday that sort of thing and that's how I'm going with this so um yeah I would recommend checking out the update and of course checking out the other videos of the speed paints especially with the series I'm doing if you don't know I'm doing a series a small little series called uh, drawing my little ghosties as in like their own character sheets and stuff and just talk about them a little bit and um, they only like some small informations and a lot of stuff and so far I've done Goo, my green ghost, Zook, the purple ghost, Pookie, the yellow ghost, Bubba, the red ghost and then Mabel, the pink ghost and of course I was doing my original six first which are the first ghosties I first designed before adding four more to make the ten ghosties I have now and this is the this is the final ghosty of all of them and the original sort of section is Cooper, my cyan ghost. So again, of course, I do recommend uh, checking out the previous videos even though I think they are kind of bad in my opinion. But um, that's what happens with videos that are there for a while. They uh, not that great. So um, yeah. <laughs> so anyways. With each ghosties, they have a specific ability that can work for themselves or works uh, for others in a specific way. They all have setbacks, which I decided on since I did the Zook video because I didn't think that far and I didn't want to make them sound very overpowered and all that stuff, even though some of their abilities are quite overpowered and all that. And um, they all do hang out with uh, Killer Ghost, which is my character. A uh, ghost, I mainly call it ghost because then YouTube can stay off my back for mentioning the K word or whatever. Because I don't know how YouTube is working these days, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just make content, trying to make fun videos and all that stuff. But yeah, so those are like the basics of what I'm doing for my ghosties. And after I done my series of drama ghosties, I would move on to drawing ghosties that are referenced from different stuff. So like either a film, game, show, and all that stuff, or just basic stuff like draw a ghosty that is based off of, like dragons or based off a cat or something like that with a unique ability with it that can work uh, for others or specifically like ghosts and all that stuff because ghost is usually the one that's using all these powers and all that for her advantage on battles, fights, and other situations that she'd probably get herself into. Which isn't shocking to be honest with her. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this video. So of course, I think I've already mentioned it. Probably not. My brain is gone. <laughs> um, so basically, this is Cooper, our cyan smart ghost. He is very intelligent and knowledgeable of all information. And he will digest all information and make sure he keeps it in his brain. He's basically the nerd. He's basically the genius. He's basically the crazy scientist of this group where he's smarter than everybody and knows certain things here and there if he has read about it or he just already knows about it. He can create things out of bloody nowhere. No one doesn't know how he does it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's very um, tactical with his words, let's say. So like if he's like trying to explain how a metal works and you say, hold on, hold on, can you cut down into like a simple sort of thing? He'll just like be like, in idiot terms, it's basically this is how this metal works. You add that, you add that, and that's how you make that metal. Okay, wait a minute, do you call us an idiot? It's basically like that sort of person. He's he's like that type of ghosty, uh, despite the others. But even then, he does have the heart. He does care about his uh, friends, even though he doesn't seem like it. He's 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 a smart sweetheart, I guess. I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at explaining this. Ah. But um, yeah, so his ability is very probably basic and not very original because I think I know two shows maybe that has already this sort of type of ability. But Koopa's ability is that he can 
see things that can work together or in like si different situations. So like I heard of, well I've seen clips of Maracolas Ladybug sort of thing and Cat Noir or something like that where uh, items become red and black like the Ladybug, Ladybug? Ladybug's pattern sort of thing uh, over an item and she can like combine and figure out certain situations and all that stuff. It's kind of like how Cooper works. Uh, certain things pop up a bit more to the to him or to someone who's trying to use his ability They will put it together or find like certain escapes and certain clues certain Solutions and all that stuff. That's how he works. He's basically helps you Get a more knowledgeable advantage and seeing things like maybe if I use that I can easily do this sort of thing and of course, like I've mentioned at the start, each ghostie has a setback. Things that will hold them back. Like Zook, his thing that holds people back is that you'll get muscle cramps if you're trying to speed up your legs, your arms, or whatever you're trying to speed up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Pookie, basically your body is shifting as in your bones are breaking, your muscles are like breaking apart and all that stuff. And when you try and put them back, your your body's broken. It's 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 just broken. With Bubba, same thing with Zook. You get cramps if you use it too much of their strength. And of course, the last one I did last time was Mabel, who provides shields, give you make you have a shield ability that you can shield others, shield yourself, and all that stuff. But you use up some of your energy to make that shield, and you'll get tired and exhausted, and you won't be able to stand very long. That's how Mabel works and some of the other ghosties work. So for him, I kind of struggle with having like a setback, kind of like a kryptonite to certain things because I don't want my characters to be overpowered. I kind of want them to have like a certain setback and all that stuff. Before she was very, like Ghost was very kind of powerful in my mind because I was kind of young, but because I like, I don't want her to be a Mary Sue, so I'm just gonna try and add setbacks and all that stuff. Just like, yeah, bring it back, bring it back, just just bring it back, sort of thing. So this is me bringing it back, just like, hey yo, you got this that you can't get past, this is an obstacle, sort of thing. And with Koopa's obstacle, you would have to deal with brain damage. Or brain cells being gone, or... The time when you're trying to learn something in class and they overwhelm you with so much knowledge that you can't keep in your brain and, and it just explodes your brain because you couldn't handle it. And because like you look up for a second, it's like two plus two and it's like, all right, that, uh, simply four. You look back up and it's like a pie symbol. It's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's Coopler. <laughs> that's, what, that's what his setback was. Um, his setback is, um, yeah. Your, your brain won't work afterwards. It will depends on how much you use it. If you use it too much, your brain damage will probably be permanent. Or if it's like slightly, you just use it for slight things, like looking for your phone and all that stuff, you get slight brain damage, but it doesn't save for long. It'll pass away after a while. So that is how Cooper works and how he sets things back and all that stuff. And of course, with all the ghost abilities, I did make it where if Ghost was in her ghost form, these effects doesn't affect her because she's technically fully ghost, so on and so forth. But she also has a limit to that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, that is pretty much Cooper. So that is the last of the six original ghosties I created uh, in my last redesign I did for her, where they all like originally got introduced, and we have four more to make the ten ghosties. So, of course, the, the other ghosties are Hoop, Lucifer, Do, and Boo. Those are the ghosties I add at the last minute. So, I'll be doing those next. Whichever you guys want to see next, if you've seen them or you're very interested in what their names could be and what they relate to, just come down below just to, you know, say like, Ooh, I want to see Boo or I want to see Do or I want to see Lucifer or Hoop and all that stuff next. And so on. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked uh, Cooper. Hope you liked the Ghosty series. I want to work on these uh, for a while until I get it up to um, one of the last Ghosties before doing Ghosties reference from different things like dragons and all that stuff. You guys can pop in on the suggestion as well. Uh, pop in like, oh, I want a Ghosties that's space of a vampire, which I, 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 I don't I, I don't know why you would choose a vampire of all things. 
Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, just pop in your uh, suggestions and I would write them down and uh, start basically creating them or just like after I finish my ghosty series that I would start creating them afterwards. I will be doing like random sweet paints as well. So um, in process too. Hopefully just to get a bit of content in here. So um, yeah, I am currently swirling my hand around because I can't think straight because I am not very good at trying to remember what I need to say or what I need to say and all that stuff. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed these ghosty series. Uh, hopefully once we get to the last ones that I would start doing like uh, different ones that are the ones that you've probably seen before. So um, yeah. If you want to see any of my art stuff, I uh, try to post them um, on Mondays. It won't be guaranteed of every Monday. It would just be on a Monday, just a random day. Uh, not a random day, be a random time on a Monday. Um, but if you wanted to check out my gaming stuff, I usually post them up on Fridays. It'd be every two Friday that I would post my gaming videos up. So far, I've been kind of up to date with the daily stuff on that one. So that's pretty much fine. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, all I can say and all I can mention. So um, yeah, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a like, comment down below for things that uh, what you think of Cooper and which ghost you want to see next and what I should try to base my like my next ghosties off, like a dragon or vampire, which I still don't know why you would choose a vampire out of all things, and so on and so forth. And if you do enjoy my content, you enjoy my art or my gaming stuff, please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot with my channel and all that stuff. So I think that is actually pretty much for me. Go see. Go sing out.
day that passes without you on my mind not even one minute can end up before you come around i yearn for the days when i see your face You were here to give me a-